Hello developers, now we're going to have another amazing tool to create our mobile application. Previously, whenever we're going to create a mobile application using JavaScript framework, our base choices by being uh, so far is that React Native or Expo or Vue.js is pretty competitive way to build our application. But now, as you see, the company behind the TikTok is providing us that links, which is they are saying it could be a fast rendering and it also uh, giving some amazing tools and other facilities. So we're going to try that one. We're gonna because also i didn't try it so now let's try it together see how it's gonna combine i think it's just yesterday it launched so now if we go there uh scenario here empower the web community and invite okay they're inviting us to go and write on render anywhere similar to the expo or react uh, expo the or uh, the view android ios web i think the performance at scale and oh okay they're giving a uh, at, uh, like achieve instant launch and silky ui responsiveness via our okay so means that would be no glitch to rendering on that and you can try it yourself so what we're gonna do we're gonna just pass a quick start guideline to create our application and in the quick start so it's saying the system requirements which you need to have that node.js 18 so be careful you need to check that one the compatible things and if you're using that type of script configuration you need to have that minimum 18.19 now i have one uh like uh, the directory here and I just open the directory here in my terminal so if I just type that node version I can see we have the 23.7.0 so I can run a uh, type script here and we're gonna go with that so first of all installing process and if if you are in the react native developer you know how much pain to configure the system and set up it takes a lot of time but you know initially that a 78 is getting much better but even though there is a lot of combination to configure the process so now we're gonna see how those things can rerun here so now first of all uh, to create a new links project we use rspd so a rs based links build tools to build a links project okay it is recommended to start a new project using create rspd okay we're gonna go with that and there is all of the packages npm here and npm bun but i'm gonna go with the npm as we are using the default behavior so i'm gonna just run that one and now see what's saying npx create rspd create rspd project so now we need to provide the project name so as we are using that link so i'm gonna provide that links app and the type strip is recommended i'm gonna go with that and now select additional tools and for that i don't want to go with the add biome for code linting and formatting or else lint. i'm gonna go with the ptr just a simple formulation oh, okay it's created done <laughs> okay that's cool the next step is that cd links app and then git in it if you're using the git optional that npm install npm run dev so i'm going to go cd into links app and then i'm going to open it within my code editor okay it's open now you can go first of all before going any further i'm going to just run that npm install you know as we are having the package we need to install the dependency it's same like the vid it doesn't install the dependency that's why it's giving a quicker creation part so now after the prompts okay so create our speedy will create a folder with your project name and prepare links explorer that's the magic point what we need to explore either we can run it with ios simulator or android emulator you can go with the physical device you can go with the emulator or simulator but we're going to go with the simulator here to run the simulator we need to go with the install xcode you can go also create your old uh like your own uh links explorer but we're going to go with the xcode <laughs> no need to go and uh, create that hype so first of all you need to install the xcode for my project for me i already having that xcode within my parameter and i'm going to show you what the magic you need to configure whenever you were installed and configured the xcode you need to go in the xcode here and you need to go with the open developer tool and then you need to open your simulator you just need to run your simulator perfectly to go with that be careful you need to go with that so i download and install it's a lengthy process so i created in before then i'm gonna open my simulator which is the iphone 16 pro and after that what i need to do for the mac os arm uh 64 or mac os x6 uh 86 uh underscore 64 so i'm using that rm64 so i'm gonna download that one here just click here it will automatically start downloading and it's just download that it's a tiny file of that 15 megabyte now if we go in our project structure it's still installing my network speed is just uh, nasty so now it's uh as you see it's having only source then we have the git ignore we have that uh, 
I think it's a pretty much basic structure. Uh, basically, I'm a React Native developer, so you know I'm following, and it's a pretty bunch of line for iOS, Android. It's a lot of things going on there. Then we have the links config.ts file where all the configuration links configuration is happening. We have the package.json file. Only links JS React is just uh coming with the dev dependency. And okay, that's that's uh no in the dependency, dev dependency in other type script and type react and other. Then we have the type uh configuration. Okay, that's pretty simple. In the source, we have our asset, we have our uh like the index.tsx where uh, the index is gonna wrap with the app the same formula of that our react native i think i'm familiar even though i didn't use it yet i, I feel the familiarity of react native as you see the, all the function is just coming a react just having the proper understanding of the view because it's just running off that all three platform is rendering in that pretty much so far so we have the view we have the image we have the text so that's the, their own combination the way they are creating the ui and now for the max uh, i think it's already installed let's just go and i'm gonna go with the downloads as you see it's installed i'm gonna just you know you can run with that command so it will just uh, go and unzip that one then you're gonna have that so i'm gonna just uh, double click it and it's unzipped now what is saying here uh if we just go and open my okay uh, it's saying here uh okay enter the co a project uh, i think yeah so open Xcode, choose open developer tool from Xcode menu, click the simulator to launch one, then drag Lynx Explorer RM64.app into it. So I need to just drag and drop that one. Let's see if it's working. So drag, drop. I think it will work. So, okay, it's working. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, still not showcasing. Yeah, it's working. Okay, yeah. As you see, it's open. If we just click on that, uh, it needs to be updated. Keep uh okay there is something so first of all after doing that one we need to go with uh, that our npm install which we did and npm run dev so that's the command we need to run similar like the web npm run dev it's gonna start spinning in our development server so now okay yeah it starts building the process i think that's the one making the problem okay keep it mm. Okay, the problem was that I can't use that uh, RM64, so I need to use that uh, x86 uh, underscore 64. Okay, so now the, that one is installed. If I click on that, okay, it just opened uh, in the scenario. So it's the Links Explorer. So I need to pass that card URL and then we can go also this uh, showcase uh, to explore that. So I think that's the one of this one. And I need to copy this one and then I will just paste it here and go okay react on links oh okay so we are now on the game now let's see and it's pretty simple the only the problem it was here to configure those scenario here and which is the uh, gonna use that rm or, or 64 or 86 and risk 60 x uh, 86 so that was the problem but other it was pretty simple and good to go so let's see if we can uh, create some changes i don't want to go in the documentation because as i have i'm having the idea of react native so let's go this is the app where everything is funneling so now if i go here and if i just let's say i'm gonna comment it and hit save let's see okay we get a view okay so i think i'll find the tune so now if i go here and in this view i'm gonna just remove this app thing i'm gonna keep the background as that background this one i like it so now i'm gonna use a view here and in the view i'm gonna pass a text which is going to be hello in the app let's see okay that is at the top and also in the class name let's say i'm gonna put the class name uh, class name as which I like to go with that container so that's especially the lowercase so now let's copy that and I'm gonna go with that f.css and as we remove all other I'm gonna just keep it at the bottom so I'm gonna keep all together I don't want to remove it right now so uh, the parameter is that put the dot and then go with that and now let's say I'm gonna make that uh, let's say background color I'm gonna put a background color of this one okay that's grabbing the background color right so it's having that one and uh flex one so it's gonna take entire proportion no it's not getting that i think i need to pass the display on flex maybe i have no idea so let's go the class name which going to be providing here at the banner so that's the banner i think so 
so that's the background here so to go and search on the background so that is the color which providing everything which width height and top bottom i'm gonna just comment that and also i'm gonna comment this one let's see let's just exploring okay i think yeah that's the self-closing so our background is removed so now okay i'm gonna just uncomment that one i think it's pretty much simple to go with that and yeah that's a very simple and sophisticated way to combine that so you can just create your own uh, logo parameter and others so i'm gonna go in a simple and a very uh logistic way because i don't want to crumble each and everything here so in the banner if we remove all other thing let's see if we're just having that okay and that put a text here so text hello from the app hello from app hit save okay hello from app is there and i think we can uh, either we can pass that simple class name or we can go with this style uh, let's see if style is there uh, font size okay style is there let's say 20 okay super cool now since it's length units expense zero so we're gonna we're gonna forget about that we, but we we can we can now provide those things okay that's cool so i think that is a super cool way to go and visualize that one and by the way it just newly launched there's a lot of form and you need to have a lack of community guideline to how you can start and how you can build and that but it's gonna grow up because in the TikTok, in there's a lot of scenario they're using the same application layer so it will go and create those things but this is for me it's the first time i'm developing something called the mobile application is so fast and simple way now you know you can go with the crafting the designing here how you can go with the motion and theming and typography everything is described here you can go with the debugging mode or also in the you can combine the performance and then the native develop uh, development how the native models working and how it's just prefetching and providing the data layer and each and all so i think uh, by so far that is a really a game changer whenever you are going to create something unique so as you see the styling with css you can go with the selector and i think we can go with the nesting here uh okay and also by the way i think we can will be able to uh, combine that tailwind css that's i didn't try it yet but i think we can also uh, make that layout uh, let it work here too so i think it's a pretty simple way to combining the application and creating those scenario and also you can uh, remove that practice you can just simply go the class name the way they are preferring here so let's just put that uh, hello text okay i'm gonna just write the same way hello text and if we just copy this one hit save and if we go in the app.css and at the bottom we can just try to combine that one dot hello text and here let's say font size which we want to provide a 30 and also let's say a uh, font weight we want to provide let's say 800 okay cool so now you're having that the hot reload is working perfectly so now let me know in the comments would you like me to build an entire application phase using that links because there is a lot of room to explore and i'm personally liking that one in a way so let me know in the comments and please try try a bit to understand try a bit to try that one i think that can give you a good understanding overall so all the best i'm gonna see you in the next build